as we'll see Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers versus Baker Mayfield and the Los Angeles Rams. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Green Bay's offense trots out, and just as it has been since week one of the 2008 season, Aaron Rodgers leads the way now in his 18th year in the National Football League. I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. Jones with a nice game there on first down as he takes his forward and call it a, a pickup of six. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Rodgers to throw. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that will draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's Jones again on second down. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards to pick up, first down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're low off balance. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your... He rifles one that's intercepted. Taylor Rapp with a pick. And the Rams are going to get the football here as they force the INT the game's opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And Mayfield will have a first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll start the drive here with an end around. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I'm not so crazy about where they decided to run that play, but I like the play itself because if you continue to run it and show it, you're going to create openings that you hope to exploit later in the game. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. That's to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Rodgers now on first down. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. That's thrown quickly out wide to Lazard. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 41-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Here's Rodgers, able to shake him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 30. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. 
Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That'll give them 8 that time. And they'll be left with 2nd and a couple. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Rodgers with a keeper. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. It's a gain of a yard, and the Packers are going to have a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Now this time, Rodgers will throw. Touchdown, Packers! Robert Tunyon, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. But a really nice drive. Crosby connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. They go play action. Mayfield. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Darnell Savage. Well, certainly not his best throw that time, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. Open man left side, it's the tight end to Guara. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. 50 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. On play action, Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Two touchdown passes now here in this first quarter for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And 
They'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Dancing to his left. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Mayfield looks to throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Plus like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. But oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mayfield on play action. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And inside give to Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Rodgers. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Speed bump that this offense has encountered. They'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 25 on second down, Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. And Gay knocks this one through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. 
So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Up the middle, Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And meanwhile, Rogers' throw brought in by Watson. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. 23 yards, the final tally. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Running on first down is Jones, but he's not going to get much. Maybe a couple. And it's second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This complete to Jones. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. Now a play fake. Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? After unbelievable. Yeah. Like a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that defense, they're leaping in the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no answers thus far. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And 
and they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. On the tackle that time, Dean Lowry. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throw left side complete. That's Powell. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Throwing Mayfield. And his throw is incomplete. Well, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Meanwhile, Mayfield's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. They'll run on first down with Akers. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Mayfield down. This will be caught at about the six. And the Rams are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Akers will score. Touchdown, L.A. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and it makes the score 21 to 10. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Number 12 back out there. Aaron and his Packer teammates set to begin their drive. He really continues to pick apart this defense. Last drive, perfect, and it culminated in his third touchdown pass. As long as we've been doing this, how many times has a player in this type of a zone Describe the game as really slowed down. Yep. So right now, instead of warp speed, it's snail's just pace. Oh, snail's pace for him, and he can do whatever he wants. Feels like he has all the time in the world to throw the ball, and his offensive line has been giving him that. Yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. 
And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could... Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 41 yards. here with Dylan and the hole closes quickly here he can fight only to about the four it's a gain of a couple and it'll be second in goal definitely an important sequence here for this defense they've had their share of struggles in this first half they just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here second and goal from inside the five On play action, it's Rodgers. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. A drive that time of six plays, and it was Robert Tunyon capping it all off on the touchdown grab. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. On first and ten, Mayfield. Out route to Jefferson, and he's got it. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And able to find Higby. It's complete. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Mayfield on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. 
He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now Mayfield. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now it's third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. Open man is Skoranek, he's got it. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. And he's got some space here. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. To throw, Mayfield. This one brought in by Jefferson. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Here's Mayfield. Forced out to his left. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 Atwell from 10 yards out. And the Rams get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This is just. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this an 11-point deficit now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Taken in at the three. And they will regular down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Second and 11. Rodgers now to throw. He'll get this to Lazard. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And now it's third and three. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. For the heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Rodgers going to throw. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot. But it's going to bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep, Brandon Powell. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And they got it. They recovered it. Wait, hang on now, though. There's a penalty 
flag down. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A give up the middle to Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Credit to defense there to Quay Walker getting behind the line of scrimmage before they can rip off any sort of a game. On second and 12, Mayfield steps away to his left. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Mayfield. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he's gonna be marked down just outside the 10. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To give this is Akers, and he's gonna take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers with his second touchdown of the night, and the Rams are back within a score. Mayfield gonna try to throw for the two, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Oh, a leap and he will make the catch. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Rodgers on fire, his fifth touchdown pass of the ball game. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, 
This drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Here's a run with Akers on second down. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll go again here with Akers. Taken down at the 42. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are been heavy sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage but it's been a tough go for him and every time he looks up somebody's there defensively that was the same case on that play Mayfield now from the 50 and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete an incomplete pass on first down that leads to a second and ten Play fake, Mayfield. Thrown toward the sideline, and Jefferson's got it. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Mayfield with it once more. Over the middle and complete to the tight end, Higby. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 26. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. First down, Mayfield. Throws left side. Atwell's got it. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Now a give. Akers running left. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play, backwards a yard. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On third down, Mayfield. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Completes it to Powell. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Williams. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. This is an easy one, 23-yarder. Gay's kick is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for them. You're exactly right about that, and this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision-making 
away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. With the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. And they're going to speed things up here. After the sack on first down, Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 37. With that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. The give is to Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 21. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Throwing on second and eight, Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And the Rams will take over here at their own 14-yard line. <laughs> Following the interception, Mayfield got his man complete over the middle. It's Powell. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. On the handoff, it's Akers. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Riley Dixon now, standing just outside his own goal line. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Alan Lazard and the rest of the Packers back out for another drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Play action.
action. Now it's Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. A give to Jones. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. On the counter, here's Jones. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Throwing left side, and Watson has it. The offense on third down tonight, six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and four. Able to find Lazard. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And a nice pick up there. He gets about 5 down to the 4-yard line. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Jones. Will score. Touchdown, Packers. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Of course, they had the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. A first down throw for Mayfield. He's got Higby complete right side. So he stopped for no gain, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And that falls to the ground incomplete. 
A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Mayfield looks to throw. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he can only get this to the 42-yard line. And that is not near enough. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's Jones. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very... Nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. can see this quite a bit on running plays where the guy's out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. They want to take that course. Perfect example of the kind of attitude you have to have to play defensive back in the NFL. You want to be the only defender around, and you want them to challenge you. And on that play, he came through. And this one incomplete. And another throw that really could have been, maybe should have been intercepted. That would have been number four. Instead, it's fourth down. The Packers go for it. Rodgers. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Mayfield's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now let's 
see the Packers defensively six DBs, so a dime look on third. Could play coverage or bring pressure. Throwing, Mayfield. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. 77 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. Mayfield to throw it. Buying time to his left. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They'll look to run with Akers. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. To throw is Rodgers. He'll find Aguara complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing now is Rodgers. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 44-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So from Rams' territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They go back to the ground with Jones. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, it's Jones. 
And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And inside give to Jones. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Rodgers throwing here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Now it's Rodgers. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Rams force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. Meanwhile, Mayfield throw pulled in by Jefferson. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Mayfield. His throw incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Escaping the pressure right. And I think the ball's out, and the Packers pick it up. And it's a room to maneuver. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had that, had having to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, man. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Now whistles and a timeout call here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be here. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. Well, this was a fun one today. If you like points, a lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest.
Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. for us for Charles Davis and all our hard-working crew I'm Brandon Gordon you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports for more find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL the Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau